My name is Sandy Knapp and I work in the uh, Life Sciences Department at the Natural History Museum in London. I've spent the last 30 years of my professional career focusing on the nightshade family, which is the Solanaceae, which also which contains things like deadly nightshade and henbane and, and um, datura, all kinds of poisonous plants, but it also includes a lot of things which we know and love to eat, things like potatoes and tomatoes and eggplants, which we call aubergines in Europe. I've spent um, the last big part of my career understanding the big genus Solanum which has about 1,500 species in it. And so what I'm doing now is I'm part of a big international project to do a global monograph of all of the species of those, which means pulling together all the names, figuring out who's a synonym of who, what we're going to call people, what their right names are, where they grow, and then writing descriptions of them, which we then make available over the internet. When I think about how I worked when I first started out as a botanist, and think about how I work now, you can see how technology has completely changed the way in which we work. So it used to be that when I wanted to see a type specimen or I wanted to look at a book in the library, I had to go to a library or go to a herbarium where those specimens were, where that original resource material was. And now with the digitization project, which is parts of, part of GPI, things that have fund, been funded by the Mellon Foundation and other projects around the world, is now so much of that material is available electronically that it means that you can be at your desk and compare things which previously you would have had to go to a herbarium in the US and look at specimens and go to a herbarium in Europe and look at specimens, go to a herbarium in Colombia and then try to remember what all those things looked like and put them and compare at long distance, but, but it really has changed the way we work and it's made our work, I think, more efficient and probably also better. For me, finding things in the field and seeing them for the first time, if it's a new species, it's pretty exciting. But actually, it doesn't really matter. If it's something I've never seen before, it's, it's really, really exciting. Climate change is an, interesting, is an interesting topic because we all talk about climate change and we all talk about the effect of climate change on us, the human species. And so as a result of there being extreme weather and stuff, we're all thinking that climate change is really important. Climate change is actually something that has happened throughout the history of life on Earth. And I think the climate changes that is happening now tends to be, it's happening faster and it tends to be happening in a more kind of stochastic, a kind of more random way. And I think it's impacting things in terms of their distributions, but it's also impacting the way we work in our ability to go into the field. But more importantly for us is actual environmental change, which is caused by humans, as opposed to climate change, which is kind of indirectly caused by humans. It's actually people cutting down forests and destroying natural habitats, which really, really impacts on our work. I think probably one of the biggest challenges facing us as plant taxonomists is making is making our work relevant to greater societal questions. Because for a long time, and this isn't true just of plant taxonomists, this is true of scientists in general, is we've, we've thought that we're doing something and we're doing it for the greater good, to satisfy human curiosity. And that actually is not good enough anymore. That we need to think about how our research might help people answer bigger societal questions. Now this doesn't mean that research is not worth doing for its own sake. But it means that you need to think about, we as scientists really need to think about why it is we're doing something and how that might help someone else answer another question. Plant taxonomy will never answer the world's conservation questions. Having a complete plant taxonomy done is not going to save plant life on Earth. But it can help and it's articulating exactly how it can help and how individuals can make their work impact on a wider societal agenda that I think is a real challenge.